I, I it's kind of crazy. I was like, all right, pull up this. And I know how the switch works, but I was like, oh, yeah. So the switch just goes to sleep. And then I open it up, and it's literally where we left off. So, yeah, we literally left off. We fil um, we beat the stone talus, which I called the stone golem, like a absolute noob. <laughs> Do people still use the word noob? I don't know. Anyways. No, they don't. Um, But we are going to play some more today. We're going to... Hold on. Let me... Give me a second as I set everything up. I'm like... Oh, I see. I see the issue. Okay. I always have the stream up on my TV so I can see when it goes down. And it was like, it was just being difficult, but I got it now. There we go. Um, why no Hogwarts? Because um, I don't want to support JK Rowling since she is a turf. And the game is very anti-Semitic with its depiction of goblins. And as a Jewish person, I find it very offensive. It, I had to research this. So have you... I, I haven't watched the entire Nintendo Direct, but I did watch the um, gameplay trailer for um, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And it... Can oh my gosh. It like all my anxieties. I was like, I hope it still feels like Breath of the Wild. It feels like a Breath of the Wild too. it looks like but just with um, more, which I'm very excited about. And I'm glad I'm playing this so I get used to the combat again. So yay. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think. Once we're like 10 minutes in the stream, I'm going to start doing a thing where I, because I'm currently in a show, and it's a children's show, I'll just start... Oh, that's the AC. Sorry. <laughs> I have quotes that the kids, because kids, it's so funny. They will just blurt out their thoughts in the audience. So I'll tell you what the kids have been saying. And it's, oh my gosh. Um, recap, we did the two of the shrines. We messed around. Let me open the map so I can. We chilled in Hopper Pond, went to Forest Spirits. We did the, by the cabin. We haven't gone Temple of Time. So the area is, we're going to, we're going to do this area today we're gonna check on out this area i have beaten this game before so this is just a fun recap to get us ready for tears of the kingdom um what else am i missing anything i don't think i'm missing anything but yeah today i had a day off which was so nice um normally i don't have wednesdays off how do i do i Ooh. I don't think I've ever gone up this way. Why don't we go up this way for funsies? I should probably, do I have any hot peppers? Because I should probably cook something with them. We'll see. We'll figure it out. That's part of the fun. Um, but it's very nice because I didn't have any shows today. So I was able to like clean, get a lot of things done. I did like 15 voiceover auditions. It was just like, I take a breather. There were two auditions I freaked out. I won't say what they were for because I can't. That'd be um, breaking NDA. But let me tell you, if I got them, I would actually freak the fuck out. They're not for a video game. I wish. <laughs> um, before y'all start asking. I remember I've been to this area once before, and I remember they showed out Nintendo tree houses, but I always was like, oh, I, remember. Okay, okay. I do love this game because you can solve this sh stuff any way you want, but like, there's always a fun way to do it. As I've mentioned before, we're being very chaotic as Link this playthrough because it's not my first playthrough. I feel like when I'm doing a first playthrough, I'm so careful about my choices. 
I listen to the dialogue really closely in video games. Afterwards, I'm like, whatever. We know what's going on. Oh, this is taking a lot slower than I thought. You'd think that Bacoblin would realize, like, something's up. Oh! <laughs> it just did. <laughs> died okay I don't think that one's gonna be able to die without us intervening so let's go oh, I should have picked up some oh now it's got a thing on fire that's not good but let's try this quick and easy and we're gonna get the um, I believe it's the flame wand thing which isn't actually one of my favorite weapons in the game Oh, I like that better. I think in the treehouse, that's when they got like one of those. You know what I mean? But they're not. I don't really love the wands in this game, to be honest. Because it's hard to aim them. And maybe I'm just doing it wrong. But that's been my experience. No, is that? I highly doubt I can climb it with my stamina as it is now. I'm curious. See, this is like why I love this game, is it's literally just like, hmm, what's this? Let's go investigate. Da -da 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 -da. And then you just go and you investigate. Very ADHD friendly. jump at all. I feel like there's another way I get the frozen, um, not the frozen, the doublet, the warm doublet, but I don't remember what it is. Without having to bake the thing. Will we make it? I think we're gonna make it. I feel like they had to have made it just sleep. <gasps> rude! That is rude of the devs! Oh! That is... Wow. Okay. Well... burn down and cause a forest fire, I guess you can also roll a boulder. Nice. Okay, wait, go, 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 go. come on. There we go. It's so funny, in like the first part of the game, absolutely like collect all the apples, like but then you reach a point and you're like, nah. I don't think I've ever been to this part. Huh. Like, I've done three playthroughs of this game. I've only actually beaten the game once. But. I don't think we're going to be able to. Yeah, we're not going to. And you know that's going to be a Korok seed. Okay, I don't think we can get out by this mountain either. We're going to have to go the old, ye old way, as I call it. Um, yeah, 
Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, we t yesterday we had two shows. We had a 9.45 show and an 11.45 show. First audience, they were calmer, but they had the better quotes. The 11.45, they were nuts, these kids. They didn't scream. As much as one audience we had, like, we had one audience last Friday. Oh, just Good. scream. Scream. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're Um. But so there's this moment where the villain appears in the show and he's like, ah, ha, ha, I'm gonna win. And... Allie, the main character, is like, but that's cheating! And he says, it's not cheating if you win. And this little girl goes, yeah, it is! <laughs> She's like, it was so cute. This little first grader. She's like, yeah, it is! And then, um... What else? I don't know if I told you guys this, but last Saturday morning, yes, we did a show. This is what am I doing? Um, and yet again, it's the villain. He's presenting his song. He's like, you know, to the Magic Mansion stage. Blah, 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 blah. Max, best. And this little kid goes, whatever. <laughs> we're all backstage. Because we're on stage. We can laugh at this point. We were dying. Um, and then another little girl we're like where do you think max best went and Allie, of course she's she's the main character is like to the stage and this little girl goes but you're already on the stage <laughs> just like so cute my personal favorite though was the second show when my character is revealed in the saw and half box this little boy goes what and then he says oh, they're gonna cut her in half and i was like I was so happy. I was like, yes, this kid knows what's up. Because, like, I don't know about you guys, but as a kid, like, I never saw magic shows. I saw, like, one at a hotel ballroom. It was, like, really weird. Um, but I knew, like, probably from comics or cartoons, like, the Saw and Half Girl box. Like, that was, like, the iconic magic trick. And I was like, I'm about to make this kid's day because I'm going to be sawed in half. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of my favorite part of the show because I'm like, I'm getting sawed in half. Like, mm -hmm. this thing I always saw on TV and stuff. And now it's happening. Okay, let's see here. I... This is the only part in the game I ever use. Like, a tree as a bridge. I know, like, you can in other areas. But genuinely, it scares me. <laughs> like, uh, especially now when I don't have the lighter. Like, are you kidding? Uh-uh. Shit. These are a lot of apples. I kind of like the apples. Oh, this is stasis up here. This is not going to be the bombs. Shoot. Oh, well. I'm going to remove this because I think, like, having metal on you makes you slower, I want to say. I feel like that's a game mechanic in this game. I could just be making that up. But, you know. Who knows? Okay, we let Link rest up. Oh, Link. I'm gonna get the mushroom. Safely. <gasps> oh, oh, I hate when he does that so much. Okay. I 
think this is like my least favorite shrine to get to. I love stasis, but also like... Okay, I love rock climbing in this game. I actually used to love rock climbing in real life too. I used to go to a little rock climbing camp every summer, which fun fact, I didn't know like I was going to summer camp. One day I was just like, my mom would wake us up early and I'd be like, oh, I guess we're going rock climbing for a week. Okay, <laughs> like I didn't, it never made the connection until I was an adult. Like, oh, going to summer camp. <laughs> That's a thing I did. Um, but I think this is scary in the game because I don't have the glider yet. So it's like, ooh. I don't. Yeah, I could jump it, but like, nah. okay, we're good. One thing I think is interesting about this game with speedrunners is like the fact that they played in French because the dialogue takes a shorter amount of time. Like, how, how do you? Okay. Oop. Hold on. I gotta work my nail. Just make. I would normally be like, let me, but it is kind of like I need to read it. Okay. Let me. Okay. Good. Sweet. Uh, all right. Let's get stasis. I think my favorite rune is the bomb one. What are y'all's favorite? Like, what do you use the most? What do you think is the most pragmatic? Oh shit, no, what? I'm like, it has to recharge! Forgot about that. Hi, Olivia! Hello! Hello! What's up, Colton? Thank you for the sub. I'm happy to be back, Curious Cat. Speaking of which, Olivia is here. Let me put the mic down. Come back, say hi! Also, Colton, I'm finally free on weekend nights. Hallelujah. My work schedule's been a nightmare, so we can game again! <sighs> Let me tell you. Oh, being a full-time actor is, like, everything I've dreamed of, but also, like, so many things I did not that are just like, oh. Oh. Hey! No, I, yes, no, I was like... Let me tell you. It's a whole thing. I'll tell you when we're gaming together. Like, basically, being a full time actor, you sell your soul to the industry because they're like, mm -hmm, do you really want to work or not? Like, mm -hmm. if you really want to work, you'd be free whenever we want. So, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. I love this. I do, but like... Okay. <gasps> there are like so many new killers apparently. But I've heard like... I don't know. I've heard there's been like drama. 
over the i don't know i feel like the dvd and just like always has drama but no i'm up for dvd this weekend we will play dvd i pinky promise Okay, okay. What have you been up to? Yeah, it's just like... It's very interesting. I did have a little bit like of a... This weekend with acting. Because I've been working in children's theater for about like over... I want to say like over a year now. And it's so, and I think I touched on this last stream, but like so many people don't understand, like even though we're like children's theater, we are <gasps> new psychotic. Oh, oh no, that sucks. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited to hear these stories, but I'm also like, oh no, I'm so sorry, you have a psychotic neighbor. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh, that level of- oh my gosh. Okay, so like... Leg Are you safe? Like... That's the big concern I have, like. Or is that why you had to file a police report? Okay, yeah, no, that's not okay at all. Oh my gosh. That you know. I I mean, you said psychotic. I do wonder if he has some sort of psychosis. Because people generally don't just act out like that. Oh my gosh, the wrong weapon. Like, I. Okay. Disclaimer, I'm no mental health expert. What I say is my own opinion. But, like, the little bit of mental health work I do, in which I am an actor portraying mental health, the cases are written by psychologists, and, like, the patients that have some sort of psychosis, typically it's like they, like, think the government's spying on them. Or like, oh shoot, I should probably not be here yet. Um, or that they're an important person that, oh shit, I really shouldn't be here. That they need to protect themselves from harm, that sort of... And so you being like a new neighbor? might have literally triggered him. I don't know though, so. Oh Do you have ring by any chance? Like a ring camera you can get or nest camera? Like if you're, I mean, well, you got video of him throwing rocks in your car, so that's good. But I'm just like, be safe, please. <laughs> oh, sweet, they have a hoodie. 
hot bag. So now there are peppers I can buy in this group. One second and I will read. Because I'm very invested in this now. I'm like, wait, what? Okay. On better news, I've been playing Pokemon! <gasps> okay! Okay, there's an entire group chat? Holy cannoli. Like, you want... You want your own safety, but I feel bad. Like, something's going on in this guy's life. He needs some help. Something is definitely going on. Oh, okay, he... Yeah, he... Something's up with him. That is not... That is not how conflict resolution works. <laughs> oh my gosh. But how are you liking Pokemon Violet? Is it glitching for you like it has been for everyone else? <laughs> Playing it with competition, it does lag a little. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's because I've been seeing people like videos like glitching through the map level. So that's good that you're not experiencing that. Is the story good? Because, the... okay, I love Pokemon games, but I will be real. If the story isn't great, I'm not there for it. Wait, what's a Titan Pokemon? This is something new. I probably have way more. Dishes I need, but it's fine. There's like three big storylines. Wait, okay, maybe I should actually like look this up. Cause I just was like, I thought about getting it. Okay, this is literally my consumer mind with when it came to Pokemon. There was Sprigato or whatever. There was the cat, weed cat Pokemon. And I was like, that'll be the Pokemon I get. But then I saw that that Pokemon evolved into being bipedal, two feet. And I was like, I'm not vibing with that. I just didn't like the design. So honestly, I was like, mm. And then I saw everyone was saying how glitchy it was. And I was like, mm. <laughs> So I just was like, no, I'm not going to get it. Um, and that literally was my decision. But like, this makes it sound really good. Titan Pokemon are super massive and powerful that come from Zone Zero. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna need updates on this game. I need a book port every time we game together on <laughs> how far you've gotten, what your thoughts are. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna take the But if I have wait. No, wait, hold up. I do have the bombs. Shoot! Cause I was like, wait, I don't have cryosis. I can't get to. I 
very dumb. So only fight the ones you want. Hmm. Interesting. Are they like similar to legendary Pokemon? I think the last Pokemon game I actually played was Pokemon X and Y and I didn't even beat it because I was like, eh. Pokemon game, to be honest, I really enjoyed was Pokemon Sun. I didn't mind the trials, but the th 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 words. The gameplay factor that sold me was the fact, like, that Pokemon Island, like, the fact that the Pokemon you've caught aren't just sitting in a computer. Like, I'm, okay, I'm gonna be real, every time I play a Pokemon game, I don't like that factor, and I don't want to catch them all, because I don't want Pokemon just sitting there useless. Like, just wasting away their lives. I mean, that's dumb, but I'm like, and I know it's a video game, but I'm like, oh my gosh. It's like, I feel like these poor little Pokemon are just sitting there in a shelter, but it's even worse because they're not even active. I know that's dumb, but it's how I feel. <laughs> Okay, okay. You know, I can buy that. I can realistically, <laughs> mentally be okay with that, I think. Because then I'm like, the professor's probably exercising them. No, oh, okay, they can. <gasps> I was like, ooh, shit, okay. Um, we're gonna switch. I'm solely basing that on the old show, and that's how I think. Oh, so that's what. That's how the computers- I thought this whole time in the Pokemon games. I'm gonna accept that as canon mentally, because I've been picturing this whole time like, you have a- Yeah. Anyways. Hello, Savage! What's up? I don't think I'd be able to climb to that. Let's see, though. We're gonna test it. Also, everyone sent out good vibes. My mom's on a first date tonight. The last guy she went on a date with, he ended up being married. And while if like everyone is a consenting to that sort of deal, my mom didn't know this. Neither did his wife. So. <laughs> ah, anyway. <laughs> Oh shit, now I gotta get down. Yeah, yikes indeed. I love this game. This is like on- OH FUCK! <laughs> okay, this is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, especially once I get the paraglider. <sighs> Cause then we don't make mistakes like that! I 
I hope it goes well for her. She deserves it, honestly. Like, my mom is such a catch. Let me just be real. My mom is hot. She's so classy and poised, but also knows how to, like, drink a beer and chill in sweats. Like, she repairs things around our house. Like, what can't my mom do? Like, not gonna lie. She, like, the perfect woman, pretty much. No, stop rotating it like that. No, I... There we go. See, there's the fairy thing with the four off. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. Not while I'm an ex inexperienced little Link without a glider. Once we get the glider, it's all uphill from there. Yes, please, please work. Don't get in trouble. <laughs> um. Okay. I think my least favorite enemy are the choo choos and the keys in these games. I'm not gonna lie, because they're kind of just annoying. They just show up and ruin your day. <laughs> like, why are you doing this? What are you doing? Why are you a jelly blob living down below? Hi, Olivia! Do you want to say hello? Jump up here. Well, come here. Hi. I want to say hello to Olivia. Where are you going? Well, come back here. Come back. You can see my lap. Yeah. Hello, sweet girl. Hey, my lap, wow. It's gonna be so comfy. So comfy. She's like, no, no, I will sniff everything around you. Oh, so I brought her hairbrush in here, which is literally just one of my old hairbrushes. In the hopes that at some point, if she didn't come on stream by herself voluntarily, I could lure her in by 
brushing my hair and she would hear the sound of that. But I think she's like, you stole my hairbrush, you bitch. <laughs> she's come looking after it. Come here. Okay, bye. Are you going to chill in your cat bed? You can chill there or you can chill in my lap. Either one works. Today, I was talking to my mom. I was like, Olivia doesn't chirp like she used to. Like, she used to chirp all the time. And then, lo and behold, we're sitting in my room, and my phone catches the light. And all of a sudden, she's like, <laughs> Hi, I know. You were like, she's like, what are you saying, Mom? And she goes up to the light and just stares at it like it's God. <laughs> like, she's so weird. She's just like, Like, she doesn't try and attack it like it's a laser pointer or anything. She just stares at it and chirps. Like, okay. You do you, girlfriend. I feel like the what's behind here isn't that good. But we're still gonna explore it. Because it's a cave behind a waterfall. Like, that's really cool. Oh. Actually, no, this is really good. What am I talking about? What playthrough have I done before I looked at this and said, mm, no. I don't know. smoking as the kids say I don't know if the kids say that actually don't quote me okay now we traverse back I think it's Mount Hylia or yep Mount Hylia I remember when this game came out people would look at things they'd be like that's the Twin Peaks and they'd like make maps of what they thought based on old Zelda games of like geography of how it was so insane that was an era all right I did love that era like being hyped for a video game I think I was extra hyped though just because I hadn't played a video game in like I just I mean I, I emulated games but like it was like Game Boy Advance games because I didn't know how to do any other games. And I don't want to, because they scare me. Um, and I also just, I would use a lot of cheat codes, because I didn't have that much time to play video games, so I was like, all right, we got two seconds to do this. Let's go. All right. Let's. That's where the shrine is. We'll come chill and find all this. I feel like if we go up here, we get the warm doublet too. So let's do that. Why not? It's not like we're in a rush. Link, you're so slow. Hurry up, Link. Oh my gosh. Okay, we have to go around the mountain to find Link because there's like a swirl. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Korok seed alert. Everything I've been eating today is not sitting well with my stomach. It's a stomach lining issue. I have chronic gastritis. And it's just like. Not been having it. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Another one. Do, 
do 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 now that we're men. Do 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 now that we're men. If you haven't seen the SpongeBob movie, I'm very sad for you. Cause you've missed on some peak culture. Yep, okay, warm doublet. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I knew there was a way to get the warm doublet without having to come all the way up here. I feel like there's like something else we could do. I don't know. Maybe in one of the tree houses they have like a Korok there just chilling. I don't remember. Also, the fact that we're rocking some capri pants, like some nice, I kind of think it's hilarious. Now I got stuck in my head. Oh gosh. It's fine. We're fine. And then I remember there's like a little camp over yonder with some bacoblins and a blue bacoblin. I remember that was like where they showed off like, hey, you can spawn in Wolf Link. Okay, someone asked me last stream, what improvements would you like to see in this game? Here's one improvement I would like to see. I'd like to be able to pet the dogs. Oh, maybe that's the Pacabon camp I was thinking. But I would like to be able to pet the dogs. I think that is an improvement. Very necessary to the gameplay and story. Like, this game feels slightly, maybe like 0.5% incomplete because we can't pet the dogs. Link absolutely would pet the dogs. I mean, that worked! Oddly enough. I always do the shrine last. I don't know why. I don't know if every, anyone else, like, what order do you guys do the shrine in, shrines in? I've heard a lot, of, excuse me, a lot of people end up doing the stasis shrine last, which I'm like, I don't know, it's just like, interesting. that I heard a dog. Well, I hear you! Hi, Miss Magoo! What's up? Yeah? Where are you? My butt. Hold on. Hi! Hi! Do you want to talk some more to everyone? said no I walk away now what you looking at 
She said, I come back now. You're so cute. You're circling me. I think. I don't I can't really see you. Oh no, you're just sitting behind me. Cats are weird. She's gonna be four this year. Like, there's no way she's four. Like, that's just... No. She's still baby. I remember this was shown off at Treehouse Live. They're like, oh, you gotta do some problem solving. You know, I've played this game three times, like under three different playthroughs, only beaten it once. However, I have never bought anything from Rob's lab. I think we should set up some goals for this playthrough from game, like based on playthroughs of past, of just things I haven't done in the game. Like, one of the dragons that's the I haven't done all the shrines like the springs excuse me oh that's kind of crazy um so I think I should do that all the springs I buy something from Rob's lab any other ideas let me know as we go through the playthrough I'll come up with Your promises are here. Thank I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Thank I wonder what that feels like, you know. <laughs> try to help. No, I'm just kidding. Try to help with you. I'm not a tridel, but I do know what they're. Or is it? That? I don't remember. Don't quote me. <laughs> uh, I'll never, for what you know. Oh! Can I have the glider now? No, wait, he doesn't give me the glider yet. We have to meet him at the temple. Hmm. But first, I'm going to disappear. <laughs> like the ghost I am. I swear, he just does that to scare us. Like, I literally don't think there's another purpose to it. Just so he's like, ha ha ha, I'm a ghost. This way. Okay, we're gonna go, no. We'll go this way. <gasps> nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Hey. go 
And then there's one area once we do this that we haven't checked out yet. On the Great Plateau. We'll head over and check that out as well. Does anyone else do that? Like, you hear noises? And you're just compelled to repeat them. Is that an ADHD thing? Neurodivergent thing? I bet it is. the misogynistic people wondering why aren't you wearing makeup <laughs> because I'm literally going to take a shower after this stream I did nothing today why would I put on makeup why? I don't want to <laughs> well I didn't do nothing but I like cleaned and just There's gonna be a camp or something down here because nice. It didn't. Explode. How did that not? Okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. There are more boulders. Let's go see what these boulders go do. they didn't like the boulders didn't cause any of the barrels to explode I mean physically I, I don't know it's just interesting if you ask me That was dumb. Shaboosh. Nice. I just love having a lot of arrows. 
so I can frivolously waste them at all times. It just makes me happy. It sparks joy. Nice! That was so nice! Now call me old fashioned. But we gotta walk up via the path to the Temple of Time. Like, we gotta go down by the steps and walk our way up. Can't just go willy nilly in there. I mean, you can, but like, I don't. And we can collect things as we go along with my ears. Yeah. Oh, that beautiful piano. I love trees like this. Really random, but it's true. So one of my favorite things I've seen on YouTube with this game is um, someone modded it. Modded the castle and like restored it to like what it would have looked like prior to the destruction. And it was just so cool. The th one thing though, they couldn't get the music to stop playing, so it was like super ominous. Um, but I was like, I was here for it. It was just like cool to see like the library and stuff. Although I have some architectural questions. On the functional, like where is all the other bedrooms? Where are all the other bedrooms? Where's the king's bedroom? Why is everything so far apart? Now, obviously, I know it's a video game, but nice. I can't believe we've gone this long and we don't have proper drivers. I probably should have got those in the beginning, but I forgot that they were there. Very satisfying that noise. Sorry. Let's go up the left side. I normally go up the right, so why not? Different playthrough, different way. Here's the bacoblin people use to bacoblin jump. I don't know if that's the technical term or not. But when people speed run. And they just boop boop. And as one does. You gotta destroy the pots. It's Legend of Zelda. Wouldn't be the same if we couldn't. Pepsi, why are you whining? Probably because another dog in the neighborhood is barking. She's like, I can't say hi. Now, I know, I know a lot of people go for um, stamina with this first. I go for heart. I don't know about, but that one extra heart makes me feel better.
things. Hmm. So I am gonna get all the memories in this playthrough. Like, woo. I just think it's wrong to know. <sighs> like, I know you can play this game and you don't have to get all the memories and you can still beat it, but I feel like that's wrong. Like, Link has to remember who Zelda is. He just has to. I remember the treehouse they show that you can just continually jump on ladders, you'll run out of stamina, but you won't fall. And you'll regain your stamina back. Wow. I will say the attention to detail in the Great Plateau is insane compared to the rest of the game. Like, there is a lot more of it here than, you know, just saying. We're not going to skip it. We got to well watch it. There, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I'm sorry, Bosphoramus is such a I funny name. I was the last leader of Hyrule, a kingdom which no longer exists. Yeah. Oh. And now he float. Bosphoramus. The great no calamity Sferatu. was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo. A century ago, it was then that my life was taken away from me. I will say he's probably my and least favorite. Time, like I, here mm, I, have remained I think some of the I, mm, my one I critique, I don't love all the voice actors in their roles in this game. Was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready, ready to hear what happened. Let's go. <laughs> Tell me. I mean, we know, but like. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. Like, uh... The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his It sounds like he's a 20 year old trying to sound like a 50 year old. That's my big now. beef. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to I'm generation look up who in the form of legends is. and fairy tales. But there was also. Prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, really? were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of Oh shit, soldiers, I have a nosebleed! Hold name. up! My nose is bleeding. This coincided <laughs> it's like something with smells legends, like oft blood. Our land. Hi, thank you! Thank you so much! Chris, I will read your full comment in two seconds. I'm sorry, I gotta go. I have a nosebleed. We also right learned back. of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. <laughs> with the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the Champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning. He responded with a plan beyond our imagining. He appeared from 
from deep below Hyrule Castle. Seize control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Turn them against us. Wow, it seems the The Champions going. lost their lives. Those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight bravely won and collapsed while defending the princess. Oh, I think you Chris. I do the, the same thing with streamers. I will typically when I'm gaming, but like off stream, again. I'll have a like a streamer up on. Like or a let's play or something. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. <sighs> Link. You are our final hope. That was so weird. Like all of a sudden, it smelled like. Rest with you. I didn't feel. Um. Ooh, the connection right now very unstable. All of a sudden. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. Ooh, what is? And the, the courageous knight Ooh. who protected her right up to that the is very not end. Not a good KBS. That knight okay, was none other up. than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then, you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized this 100 years later. This is the most ever looked on stream. The words of guidance <laughs> you have been hearing since oh. your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls oh. out for your help. However, my daughter's power like will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. <laughs> I gotta take a picture of this. You must save her, my daughter. Do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. <laughs> Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four <laughs> divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. Oh gosh, okay. I believe it would be quite reckless no, you for you to you head directly forward, to the I castle think. at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Sheikah slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the Dueling Peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. So the game plan for next stream tomorrow at 6 p.m. FYI is hmm. going to Kakariko Village. We're not going to do everything there because I think we're going to spend a whole stream there doing all the side quests and stuff. But. <laughs> Except for the one with the Yiga clan because I don't know if I'm ready for that. Why is this like getting keyed out? <laughs> and that's it. But the actor who voiced him is way older than I thought he was. He sounded a lot younger. Like, it sounded... He sounds to me like a 20-year-old trying to sound older. But he's, like, been an anime... Like, I'm shocked, personally. Nice. Oh, oh, okay. Um... We know how to work this puppy. So satisfying. All right, we're gonna head to the area we haven't had to yet. Gosh, that's nice. Interesting, sorry, it looked like the graphics were broken there for a second. Um. Actually, hold up, wait a minute. Never mind, it's raining. I don't think a bomb works in the rain. Please 
the area on top of the Shrine of Resurrection. Is it literally? I thought there was like a whole thing up here. What did I, what was I thinking? I thought there was like a whole Bokoblin camp up here. Yeah, okay, there is a Bokoblin camp. It's not as big as I thought, but it works. fun. Oh, is there anything? There we go. Did I already do that? This little area up here. Perfection. The things you forget. Check. We're good. Always customary, gotta open these up, take all the things inside. I'll take it. I mean, I don't really have a choice, so. Can you imagine, like, you open and you're like, no, thank you. I don't want this. I'm like, but why not? I don't want it. But it's good for you. Okay, but I don't want it. Are, are you sure? Yeah. Well, okay. You really sure? Yeah. Not everything, obviously, but like. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's go bomb open that cave thing. I feel like the only time I really come back here is um, when I'm building Terrytown, typically, and I need wood. I come here and I chop trees. Take it. And with that, that's gonna be our stream. But first, we gotta exit the Great Plateau. Dun dun dun. dun. So we're gonna head south. Oh, 
Oh, this is north, technically. You know what I mean. When you spam all the buttons just because you want to go slightly faster, but you cannot. Like, these guys don't. I don't like them. Like, you just whack them. They're good. It's the elemental ones that are like. They're like, bam. These are, these are stone. Do not snowboard on me. Do you see snow? You do not have wheels. This is not Tony Hawk. Oh, I know something. We gotta go um, get the... I'm so glad I remembered. go and yes I know there are other things but we're not doing a completionist run like we're good we've done the great plateau That's gonna be our stream. The next stream, we're gonna make our way over to Kakariko Village. Um, and then, yeah. Friday stream, we'll do Kakariko Village. Just chill there. Get all the Koroks we can in that area. You know, all that stuff. I'll, I'll pull up a guide. Probably. We'll see. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know these are shorter streams, but... They're a little bite-sized. It's all good. We got plenty of time to beat this game as we gear up for it. Tears of the Kingdom, thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful morning, a wonderful afternoon, a wonderful evening. Have a good time.